I'm Steve Carinder with MapleNet Wireless and I'm here to uh, go over some of the basic uh, principles of using the Motorola's PTP Link Planner version 2.1.0. Um, we'll split this into several parts uh, dealing with uh, various aspects of the of the software and how we can use it. So we're going to assume that you've downloaded the Link Planner and you have it installed on your computer and so for using it the first time what you're going to want to do is go up into your tools menu under options and set this information you do want to set your personal information and your email because terrain uh, profile data is going to be sent to you via email for each link that you do use you want to set your def uh, your units uh, I think it defaults to metric um, so set that into Imperial if you're in the United States um, and then um, however you use degrees uh, your latitude and longitude in degrees, minutes, seconds, or decimal degrees. And your default regions um, sets your, you, this is another important part to set, uh, remember too, this sets your uh, regulatory um, uh, channels and, and frequency settings um, for each of the bands that are available to you. And then uh, network settings we don't need to worry about in most cases unless you're behind a firewall or on a um, on a network and then also in reports what I've noticed in some reports is that um, the text that gets embedded by default um, isn't as isn't a system um, font and a lot of people don't get the fonts um, in their reports when it outputs to PDF so select a font that's available on your system um, for this for these purposes I used Verdana and then defaulted it to letter page size so the, the link planner is organized um, when we start a new project up here. Um, it's organized into um, uh, three basic uh, concepts or modules. This being up here, the project, these being sites, and these being links. The extras and builds material we'll get in later. It's important to enter in the information here, and we'll just put whatever, one, two, three, Sesame Street. The more information you put here, the better it'll be um, in the long run, and the more professional your reports are gonna look like. So I put this information in here. And the description, link planner. And then the projects page is organized into um, several sections and this would be their general information your map and the default equipment settings we'll go back up to the map here a little bit later but your default equipment settings is how each when you add a new link within this project uh, it's going to default to this type of product either uh, everything from the PTP um, uh, 300 up to the 800 series depending on the band that you select um, and then we're also going to say that it's um, got 15 megahertz band or um, channel size. It's optimized for IP. You can also optimize it for TDM. That there is no uh, TDD sync um, enabled and that we're going to do adaptive uh, symmetry um, and default one will be our master being the master part of the link. And then we can also set what our antennas are here. Uh, being the integrated antennas and our heights. So I'm going to put in the just the average height to be 120 feet and we can adjust from there. So I've set that in. Um, this is very basic. And now what I'm going to do is uh, save this project. And these are saved as PTP PRJ project. So point to point link project file. Um, and I'm going to save this as test uh, for later. One of the things that the point-to-point -point link planner does is it will generate a bill of materials and then it also integrates with Google Earth. And what we're going to show in the next um, uh, next part is how we import from Google Earth and how we check our links with Google Earth as well using this map and using the, uh, the links module as well.